Well, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to the latest Sunday Night Short. And uh, I've got a visitor today um, who's brought down a Marini starter motor for me to have a look at. So uh, I think that will probably be the main part of this video. So if you're Andy, if you want to step into shot. Oh, right. And uh, hello. Hello, Andy. And you've had your Marini how long? Uh, I've had it since about the summer of 2006. And uh, just recently had a problem with the start motor? Yeah, yeah, fitted a new battery and worked out fine for a few times and then went to go and use it and it just wouldn't go, so stripped it out and uh, it doesn't feel quite right, so obviously here I am. Yeah, well, we'll move over to the other camera and uh, take a look and see what we find. Okay, so we've got this um, dodgy start motor on the bench here and if you turn the the output gear, there's far too much play and there's some not entirely nice noises happening there. So uh, we'll take the gearbox off the, the main motor assembly. Good, the gearbox is already coming loose. But as I say, it, it didn't seem to be all the way home in the first place. So there we go, that's the gearbox off. And that looks um, really quite clean in there. But we will have a look at the brush gear later. So I have a Horrible feeling. Oh, that's completely gone. That's actually yeah. skipped a tooth, I can yeah. tell now. Yeah, yeah, that's why the extra movement is there. It's shredded a tooth that's gone, isn't it? Yeah, let's right. just uh, turn it with the big screwdriver. Yeah, that's, that's completely gone. Right, okay, yeah. I suspect that it's worn and then you found a, um, you know, you've just worn through at, the, at one point and it's jammed. So, so it's working most of the way round, and it's then getting to the uh, the bad bit. So let's uh, just coincide with the uh, new battery being fitted. It was just well, yeah, that's probably mostly a coincidence. Mm -hmm. That's the little rubber fill plug out. So we were, yeah, that's what the problem was. And there's not much sign of any lubricant in there. No oil, right. by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. some oil there. Well, it is meant to be an annual um, service item. One end broken loose. Let's do the other one way. Pulling the other way. We're going to have to drive that bearing in a little bit before we can get the circlip out. Mm -hmm. there we go. Move 
Well, I'd already broken it loose. It was just caught at one point, and I needed to tap the bearing in. And uh, yeah, let's uh, drag the vice over and get the output gear off. So, what we do now is we can knock the worm shaft out mm -hmm. by tapping through the, uh, oh, right. onto the drain, sorry, the uh, fill plug hole onto the end of the, uh, the, yeah, yeah. the shaft. Ah, right, oh, right. Right, we've done it that way. So we're uh -huh. Helps your angle. Now I did not get completely covered in oil, which suggests that there really wasn't any. So that Would be the that bearing shot. Can you hear it? Can hear it. Yeah, that bearing's had it. Probably because it's got bronze powder in it. Mm, yeah, yeah. And well, that still doesn't want to turn. Oh, and uh, I can actually see a piece of broken off tooth oh, in there. You can see it down in there. Yeah. Right. So, uh, uh, let's pull that out just for inspection purposes. Didn't realise uh, about the oil, otherwise I would have, I would have had that out of there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That. that is a piece of the bronze. Again. Of the worm. Yeah, this is... Um, this has in fact just been packed with grease rather than uh, than oil so it, it may be that the because grease tends to get pushed out the way mm, and not flow yeah so you know it's not like a wheel bearing where the right. heat generated warms it up a bit becomes a bit more liquid yeah. so whoever in the past has done that is yeah, they thought that grease was the way to go, and in no, it's not. No. It's not the way to go. That's probably seen off the. Uh, That's what's caused the problem because if oil had stayed in there and was able to lubricate. Yeah, and this grease is um, a very interesting colour because it's completely full of bronze particles. Mm, and so it would be. Of course, that's not to say that the point at which it was rebuilt and packed with grease was not already the point at which it was quite worn out. Yeah. Your starter motor is suspiciously clean, mm. which tends to suggest there's been an awful lot of oil around it. <laughs> so it may well have been keeping all the rust at bay. So, um, yeah, one definitely trash gearbox. So your choice is here is whether you want me to rebuild it or you want to rebuild it yourself for the experience. Yeah. And... Uh, I mean, you can either just look at all the seals, or um, we can look through my box, and you can make a note of them or whatever. Yeah, well, we'll 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 see, because uh, you obviously know you know about these things, Paul. Um, I'll, well, uh, there's my video to watch, so it's not the hardest thing yeah, in the world to do no, if you've got no, um, no. having a press helps hmm. to get the the bearings in and out. Yeah, I haven't got a press. Yeah, I've got a press, and I I think I probably made a whole load of. Um, 
little tools to to get everything in place and yeah. and so on. I don't know if they went into this box or not. It doesn't look like they're in with it the. May, uh, it may be better that you do it as you as, to, to, as you see as you know it's right. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know we can. Uh, that might be the thing to do, and anything that you need in the way of tool equipment, you're going to have them yeah. there anyway. I think you better leave it with me. Yeah, um, yeah I think that, that might be the best thing. Because uh, it takes quite a long time to clean all the um, mm. the grease out. I tend to drop them in the solvent tank and just leave it, yeah, let time so, do the work. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and I'll have a look at the brushes in the starter motor. But uh, yeah, that's why it stopped working. Not to say that your starter solenoid isn't also causing problems as well, but yeah, th this is definitely a faulty motor. Yeah, yeah, process of elimination. At least now we know the highs, how and why this has happened to that. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, well, uh, leave that one with me then. Yeah.